what made it so easy to fall in love on screen? I couldn't tell you. I mean, we didn't really talk you about it. You could tell her. I mean, I could tell you it's... You could say like, really nice things. I'm just a you. really good actor. <laughs> yeah. Taking advantage. Is she? <laughs> totally. Oh, oh, please. Please say the no. Not please. please. Tell her. You can exploit it if you want. Cravings, uh, nah. No? No, we just lie. You're good. You just <laughs> it's the perfect way to get what you want all is the that, time. If you want is, chocolate ice cream at midnight, you you're, have a craving. You're, you're busting out pregnant women everywhere. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. <laughs> what do you love? What do, what do I like? you like? I like cookies. You like cookies like from pizza. where? What's your favorite cookie? My favorite cookie would be my mom's cookies, actually. Mm, so next time, I want your mom's cookie. It was just a conversation starter. You know, she was sitting there. She was, I think she was probably eight months pregnant. She had it, you know, her, it wasn't a small bump even. It was quite big. Got but we'll get through it. I have so many questions. Oh, just toothbrushes you know, for for gastrointestinal. Yeah, I guess which way it kind of you know if you. But maybe where does throw, the toothbrush go? Well, if I'm oh, oh if it goes up. Eight I years. I probably have diapers in the car. Honestly, I have that so would many help. Kids that, that I could just give you some of those. Thank you. The diapers, not the kids. Something that I still use on my day to day life every moment. I mean, improvisation is something that just when my husband and I are having a conversation trying to make each other laugh. Can you say hi to Stephanie, it's my girlfriend. Hi Stephanie. Thank you you so should much. leave him. <laughs> and you have a baby on the way, congratulations. What makes you say that? <laughs> the shark told me. You know you don't ever say that to a woman. Chuck has a matching pet monkey with coordinating outfits and I was like, I would love to be part of the show but I can't act with a monkey. <laughs> and then I got a few of them. <laughs> Ooh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she got a few of them. Come on, it was a joke. Someone on social media is calling you a crown straightener. I said, what's that? She said, a woman who goes around straightening other women's crowns. And I was just like, oh, it was just like the best compliment I've ever been given. I am the, the in-house mixologist in my, in my family. I don't drink. My parents have paid the show choir director to put me in the choir. Because I can't sing or dance to save my life. But you were lead in that choir, so huh? I went in there, I was like... <laughs> what does Five that mean? Of, well, in terms of trying, I mean, you, you apparently you're not going to sing if you <laughs> didn't I did. think you can sing. I sang but, in this movie. Well, did you yeah. see the movie? I did see the movie. <laughs> but I mean... We're going to give you a pop quiz at the end. First of all, congrats on your little bump. Um, Congrats on your little bump. <laughs> <laughs> what about my bump? <laughs> You've got you? two nice ones. No, you'd be surprised how much hasn't happened. You know, at the end of the first season, I was like, okay, well, what, what happens now? But we have um, a few more characters already in the beginning of the first season that come in and mess up our lives even more. Um, we start in the Hamptons, which is a staple of New York socialites that you haven't yet seen. Um, and, you know, we... Uh, controversies too. Literally, you so, said, "Get me out of this." It was also like, "Get him out of here." Yeah, oh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It just literally was that. Whose love interest were you? I was. I was uh, Blake Lively's love you interest. You were. Yeah. Okay. Well, sounds then, like if, she was the problem. It sure does, <laughs> Charles. Blake Lively has recently come under fire, facing accusations of being a bully long before the controversy surrounding it ends with U.S. emerged. One notable aspect that has drawn attention is her casual joking about significant matters, particularly when it involves her fans' relationships. For instance, her offhand remark suggesting someone should leave their boyfriend seemed completely out of place and struck many as inappropriate. This disconnect with her audience became even more apparent during the London premiere of It Ends With Us, where an eager fan offered her a friendship bracelet. Surprisingly, Blake declined it, stating it didn't match her outfit, even though her earrings complemented the bracelet perfectly. In contrast, her co-star, Isabella Ferrer, who plays young Lily, accepted the gift without hesitation. Unfortunately for Blake, this incident only escalated her image as unapproachable. While fans were excited to see her, she brusquely told them to be quiet, leaving many perplexed by her demeanor. Once a beloved figure, particularly for her iconic role in Gossip Girl, people are now questioning why she's facing such backlash during the promotional tour for It Ends With Us. The truth is, Blake has exhibited this behavior before her history reveals a side to her that fans may have overlooked. In a surprising throwback, Blake once referred to her Gossip Girl co-stars as monkeys a comment that seems to have been brushed aside until now. During an interview with Brandon Sklenar, he appeared so disengaged that it was clear he had little to say. Yet Blake's tendency to draw him out for compliments was evident, almost as if she was fishing for validation. Moreover, Blake's interactions with interviewers have often raised eyebrows. Footage from a 2016 interview resurfaced, revealing her challenging demeanor during conversations. 
Journalist Kirsty shared that she felt embarrassed by their past interview, ultimately deciding to post the footage to shed light on Blake's conduct, even though she was unaware of the ongoing controversies surrounding the actress. It's also worth noting Blake's mixed reactions to congratulations about her pregnancy. Despite publicly announcing her exciting news, she didn't seem to appreciate the attention, leading to further speculation about her true feelings. The narrative surrounding Blake lively is evolving, and many are left wondering if the charm that once captivated audiences is now a thing of the past. Despite her pregnancy, Blake lively interactions with interviewers often leave much to be desired. In one instance, when the topic shifted away from her baby bump, she made a rather humiliating remark about diapers, not the kids, which struck a particularly insensitive chord, especially for those suffering from lactose intolerance. The conversation took an awkward turn when the interviewer mentioned needing someone to fetch her tablets and toothbrushes, to which Blake offered a dismissive spin. While humor can ease uncomfortable moments, it's crucial to recognize that some subjects warrant sensitivity, as they can easily offend others. In another interview, Blake expressed irritation that the interviewer hadn't brought her a present. This quickly spiraled when he suggested that any potential gift could depend on her pregnancy cravings. Blake abruptly shut down that line of conversation, showcasing her frustration. In a separate discussion, she seemed to belittle the genuine experiences women face during pregnancy, minimizing the various body needs and hormonal changes that accompany this significant life event. Her suggestion that these cravings are merely for attention and exploitation seemed tone deaf, particularly coming from a celebrity whose words carry weight. Many women navigating their own pregnancy journeys would likely find such statements unappreciated. Moreover, Blake's tendency to follow trends instead of forming her own opinions has not gone unnoticed. She has a history of joining conversations that could be deemed controversial, as seen during the uproar concerning the royal family. Following a photo released of Kate Middleton celebrating Mother's Day with her children, speculation arose about its authenticity, with many image experts suggesting it had been photoshopped. Blake jumped into this drama, posting a doctored image of herself to promote her cocktail line, Betty Booze. However, when it was later revealed that the princess had been unwell, Blake felt compelled to apologize for her insensitivity. On the topic of her cocktail venture, Blake has faced criticism for her decision to sell alcoholic beverages despite her personal choice not to drink. Her enthusiasm for mixology led her to launch her own company, but this move has polarized opinions. Many view it as a cash grab, particularly since she has consistently stated that alcohol is not her preference, even in her official Instagram launch post for the brand. This apparent disconnect between her marketing strategies and public perception has contributed to the backlash surrounding the promotion of her latest film. As Blake navigates the complex landscape of media scrutiny, it's evident that her past behaviors and statements have shaped the narrative currently surrounding her. The question remains, will she adapt and learn from these experiences, or will she continue down the same path? A prevalent concern regarding Blake Lively is the perception that she doesn't take significant issues seriously, which some attribute to her privileged background. This concern appears to be well-founded. For instance, her ascension to a lead role after her parents reportedly influenced the director, despite the presence of other more deserving talents, underscores this perception. Blake's pride in these achievements reflects a disconnect from the implications of such opportunities being denied to others who may have been more deserving. Additionally, Blake often exhibits a defensive attitude when discussing her career, frequently reacting before questions are even fully asked. An illustrative example of this was seen in a 2017 interview, where Blake's demeanor conveyed an unflattering mean girl energy. Her tendency to make provocative statements, even in jest, further exemplifies this behavior. Blake's inclination to improvise in her conversations, including those with her husband, Ryan Reynolds, suggests that her spontaneous remarks extend to her public interactions. While improvisation might explain some of her offhand comments, it does not excuse the more deliberate and harsh decisions she makes. Blake has been known to associate with controversial figures and companies without apparent consideration for the broader implications. Her vocal stance on protecting children from harmful influences seemed at odds with her choice to endorse a clothing brand linked to controversial promotional practices involving children. Moreover, her response to allegations against Woody Allen further highlights this discrepancy. Despite the serious accusations levied against Allen, Blake praised his contributions to women's roles, admitting she was uninformed about the controversies surrounding him. Her assertion that it is dangerous. To consider things beyond her own experience, while overlooking broader concerns, underscores a troubling insensitivity. Although Woody Allen has consistently maintained his innocence and has never been convicted of any charges, 
it is essential to consider multiple perspectives before forming an opinion. This approach is reminiscent of Blake lively past actions regarding Harvey Weinstein. Before the film Mogul was sentenced to prison for his numerous crimes against women, including Angelina Jolie and Cara Delevingne, Blake expressed her views on the convicted offender. She stated, that was never my experience with Harvey in any way whatsoever. I never heard anything specific, but it's devastating to hear. While she emphasized the importance of listening to and believing individuals who come forward with their stories, it's noteworthy that she did not take the time to educate herself about the alleged controversies surrounding Woody Allen. Another instance in which Blake Lively has sparked criticism is her tendency to publicly try to fix people's appearances. While this behavior may appear as a genuine act of care, some perceive it as a facade, suggesting that she believes others are presenting themselves poorly. A notable example was her attempt to assist Leighton Meester. However, psychologists have labeled Blake as a crown straightener for this behavior. Despite her apparent pride in this label, many people have expressed discontent, branding her as a limelight stealer instead. With the resurgence of footage depicting Blake's rudeness, it is not surprising that this perception has taken hold. Controversies surrounding her actions have often resurfaced, reminiscent of issues that arose during her time on the set of Gossip Girl. Additionally, Blake faced challenges while filming with Ben Affleck in the town. In one particular scene, which involved a bed sequence, Blake described the experience as very awkward for her. In an interview, Ben commented on Blake's performance, noting that she was more comfortable and mature than others in the room. Blake responded by stating that no one in her family ever treated her like a child, but acknowledged that the intimate scene felt awkward, especially since it was her first day on set. However, it seems that history may be repeating itself, as Blake has reportedly claimed that Justin Baldoni made her feel uncomfortable during the filming of a kissing scene. Additionally, Blake lively expressed feeling body shamed after Justin Baldoni inquired about her weight due to his back issues, as he would need to lift her during filming. Given Blake's well-documented history of alleged conflicts with her co-stars, it's not surprising that they occasionally feel uncomfortable during her interviews. A notable moment occurred when America Ferreira was seen rolling her eyes at Blake, ultimately laughing out loud, highlighting the behind-the-scenes drama that often goes unnoticed. It appears that her co-stars, even those involved in her most recent film, have reached their limit. Brandon Sklenar was visibly taken aback when Blake responded to an essential question about domestic violence DV. This particular incident has fueled public outrage toward Blake. Many are questioning why she chose to joke when the conversation warranted discussing significant helplines that could assist victims. According to a body language expert, Blake seemed inattentive to the question and more interested in delivering a punchline. It was evident that the topic made her uncomfortable, leading her to prioritize humor over sensitivity. Moreover, she appeared oblivious to the discontent among those around her, a reaction interpreted by body language analysts as a lack of awareness. Even with the best intentions, Focusing excessively on trivial matters can come across as rude, and Blake's discussions during the It Hands with U.S. promotional tour often veered into irrelevant territory. It was particularly unsettling when she began a statement about losing her mother to illustrate a humorous point. During her Gossip Girl days, Blake frequently shared anecdotes about the stories that made it into gossip magazines, sometimes using slurs. Although she used that word at a time when it was not widely recognized as offensive, the resurfacing footage, particularly in light of her recent actions, has not been well received by many. Interestingly, there were numerous other problematic incidents during the Gossip Girl production. One former production assistant revealed that Blake consistently arrived late to the set, often by three to four hours. According to this individual, such behavior is a tactic some actors employ to avoid being the first on set, resulting in significant delays for the entire crew. Another notable drama from Gossip Girl involves Army Hammer being fired from the series, which is astonishing given that Army himself has proven to be unreliable and has been embroiled in various controversies. It's particularly ironic for Army to label someone else as problematic. In the midst of this drama, Blake lively displayed a lack of kindness toward interviewer Kirsty, who congratulated her on her pregnancy bump. Kirsty, who has shared her struggles with infertility, was unaware that Blake was oblivious to her situation. This interaction underscores the importance of being sensitive about personal matters when speaking with others. Interestingly, Kirsty had the opportunity to interview Blake again, this time alongside Anna Kendrick. The dynamic shifted dramatically, with Blake now on the receiving end of scrutiny. Kirsty noted, I constantly have to reassure Blake, telling her, it's okay, you're good at giving interviews. 
I promise you, however, the conversation didn't conclude without Blake taking a jab at Anna. Blake's demeanor during interviews has led many to suggest that she should prioritize media training instead of relying on improvisation and speaking out of turn. Following her wedding ceremony, which took place on a plantation and sparked considerable backlash, both she and her husband later issued apologies. Body language experts have also analyzed Blake's conduct during interviews. Observing her tendency to disengage from interviewers and divert the conversation to unrelated topics, they interpret her moments of stopping to admire her floral dress as indicative of her lack of presence at the moment. This behavior suggests a desire to control the narrative rather than engage meaningfully with the interview.